guys, so today I'm going to be doing the 90s kids survey. I thought that this was like the funnest video ever because I just love bringing back all old memories and I had such a fun like first few years like of childhood and like from like one, I was born in 1995 so like those like five years of the 90s were like amazing. So I loved just being one, two, three, four, and five. So I guess I should just get started right away and start bringing back some fun childhood memories. I might answer some of these questions with like early 2000s too. So it might be from like 1995 to like 2001. So just keep in mind. So I don't want any comments saying that started in like 2001 because a lot of these things might, but oh well. My favorite TV show, I had so many, it depends. So like Disney Channel wise, I always watch Lizzie McGuire, Phil of the Future, That's a Raven, What's even Stevens, and then other ones that I watched that weren't Disney were like Sister Sister, Family Matters, The Cosby Show, The Amanda Show, Poor Amanda Bynes, Smart Guy, oh I also watched like The Fairly Odd Parents, and then I watched things like Sesame Street, ooh, Arthur. There is probably so many other TV shows that I can't think of right now, but I freaking loved all those TV shows. Um, my favorite toys I think were like Barbies or Polly Pockets. I freaking loved Polly Pockets. Ooh, all the Fisher Price toys I always played with when I was little. I had like every single house, and then I would literally set up like a whole like cul-de-sac of all of like the Fisher Price houses and like have like parties, like neighbor parties. My favorite commercial, well actually I didn't really have a favorite commercial, actually I did, it was the Baby Bottle Pop commercial. That's pretty much the only commercial that I remember, except does anyone remember on Nickelodeon when they had like those fake commercials? So like there was one where, I think it was on like the Amanda show where they would have like different like commercials and there was one commercial that had like it was like a cereal box and like you know how cereal boxes have like prizes in them well in this cereal box there was like a bunny or like there was different like animals that would be like the surprise out of the cereal box so when I was little I was convinced that these commercials were real so I remember going to the grocery store and the cereal section and looking all over for this certain cereal box that had like a bunny rabbit in it because I always wanted a bunny and I feel like I was just the stupidest kid ever and I think my mom probably thought I was on crack or something because she was like, are you sure that was a real commercial? And I'm like, yes mom, it was real. So I think she thought I was like seriously on crack, but I wasn't. They just shouldn't confuse you with those fake commercials. My, this is like not even like a hard question. It's obviously in sync. I was flipping obsessed with in sync. Justin Timberlake, I had like posters all over my wall of Justin Timberlake because I was obsessed with Justin Timberlake and I would kiss my poster every single night and I even went to the NSYNC concert. Ooh, I actually have a picture. Hold on, let me go get it. Like, there's a picture. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm wearing NSYNC pajamas. Oh, here it is. So then there's me and my Aunt Kristen and Brianna. And there's me at the just or at the in sync concert. I would always wear those little choker things and like I would always want the one with like the beads on it because I thought that those were like the coolest thing ever. And then I always like tried to like sneak like tank tops. Whoops. The like sneak tank tops that would show like my stomach because of like the Spice Girls. And I would wear like pigtails and pretend that I was like one of the Spice Girls. So I think that was another weird fashion trend and then also like the jelly shoes like the clear jelly shoes that people would wear I would always wear those too so those were kind of some weird fashion trends favorite collectibles would be Beanie Babies favorite Beanie Baby I don't remember any of the names of the Beanie Babies but I literally had every like I had so many Beanie Babies I loved all the rainbow ones and then I also really liked the hippo, the platypus, the snake, and like the bulldog. Oh, the sheep too. I just, I loved all of them. I could not really pick a favorite. 
how many Tamagotchis did you go through? Probably only one because for me, I was so young when the Tamagotchis came out that I would just get so confused and I just freaking hated them because I just didn't know how to do it. So I think I really only had one, which is kind of sad, but I don't know. Just didn't really like Tamagotchis. I always had like the GameCube or the Sega. On the GameCube, I always played Animal Planet. That was like my favorite game ever. And now I totally want to play Animal Planet right now. I love that game. Huh. My favorite Disney Channel original movie, there's so many and I some of them might even be in like 2000, I don't really know which ones were in the 90s, but I think either Smart House or Big Fat Liar. I freaking loved Big Fat Liar, like when the dude turned blue, that was just so funny. But I liked that movie, or Smart House, that one was really good too, so I don't really know. My favorite music artist was obviously NSYNC, and then my favorite girl group was like the Spice Girls, but NSYNC was just my favorite artist ever. Like, no one can even compare to NSYNC. Uh, I didn't really watch Nick Jr. I watched Nickelodeon, but I didn't watch... Actually, was... Oh, now I'm blanking out his name. Blue's Clues. I loved Blue's Clues. Favorite candy. I loved, as I said in the beginning, I loved baby bottle pops and then I also loved the Laffy Taffy or maybe it was just Taffy but it was like those long strips and then some of it had like sprinkles in it and I always ate those but they always gave me freaking cavities. My favorite like board games that I played all the time were like, shoots and ladders was definitely my favorite or sorry oh my god I totally forgot about sorry okay sorry or shoots and ladders were definitely my favorite my favorite McDonald's Happy Meal toy um I don't really know I knew the they used to have like the little Kirby's or Furby's whatever those things are called but they used to have those and then they also had like I know this wasn't in the 90s but I went, the ones where they had like the dogs with like the big heads, I literally went there to get every single one. Well, as many of you know, when I was little, um, books were not my best friend. I hated books, so I don't really have a favorite book, but I think in first grade, which was like 2000, 2001, um, my teacher would read us Judy Bloom, are those what it's called? Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom. I think that's what they're called. I did like those books a lot. My favorite clothing store when I was little was Nordstrom, like the little kids section, because that's literally the only place that I could like fit into clothes. But once I got older and was able to fit into Limited 2, that was my favorite store ever. So basically, Whatever was on TV, we would, we would watch like Arthur or Franklin, or Blue's Clues, or Lizzie McGuire, Phil of the Future, even Stevens, all those type of shows. So yeah, that is what we did after school. So yeah, that is all the questions. I had so much fun bringing back all those memories of the 90s because I just love the 90s and I just miss those days when everything was there was no stress from like one to five years old. So yeah. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And make sure to also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DanaOfficial with two L's. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!